they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. What's up, y'all? It's Cole. We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Rory True. So, so how you been like in New York so far? It's been fun. For the last uh, 16 hours we've been here. <laughs> so you don't even do much. You ain't even see nightlife yet. I didn't been. I didn't been in New York. I didn't see nightlife, but okay. so we ready. We ready to continue nightlife. You when you was out here, where you went? You went to like the strip clubs and shit. You know that. Okay, starlets and stuff. You know that. <laughs> All down. right. Um, I'm asking some questions. We're gonna do rapid fire questions. We're gonna get you warmed up. I'm asking you some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. What's one word you couldn't spell as a child? Mayonnaise. <laughs> What's one song you hate that everybody loves? Uh. What's that little dude, Lil Nas X? Okay. Take my horse. Yeah. I don't like when Old my son's singing that. Old Town Road, like he got singing. the kids right now. Yeah, he got them. Okay. Um, stranded on the island. If you could bring one thing and one object, what would you bring? What you say? What happened? If you stranded on the island. If you could bring one person and one object. What would you bring? One person. One person and one object. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> one person. I have to bring. Uh, should I bring me a little year? Okay. One object? Shit, I don't know. It had to be a gun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, a gun, a gun, yeah. If you could pick any talent in the world to be a pro at, what would it be? I want to, like, at first when I was a kid, I wanted to be in the NBA. So I'd choose basketball first, like yeah. a point guard and a shooting guard. Okay. But another profession, of course, just be music. Okay. Yeah. So you would want to be a music expert? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it that behind the scenes music, producing or everything? I don't know. I just think music is therapeutic. Okay. So yeah. I just like the therapy of it. I like, the, I like people that tell their real stories. I don't like people that cap and they rap. So mm -hmm. I just like the organic side of it, the artistry of it. Okay. If you could listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would you pick? <sighs> Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Wayne. I was not expecting that. Wayne. When we ask people that, they always say like Future, Drake. Nah, I'm a Wayne. Like the Carter three, the Carters. My last name Carter. Oh, for real? Yeah, like Sean Carter, Lil Wayne, okay. Jay Z, so all them. It's just it's just connected like that. Yeah, it'd be Wayne. And what's your go-to song when singing R&B? You know, it's so funny. <laughs> Pleasure P, my neighbor, right? Okay. In Atlanta, we got we live in the same penthouse. So you be playing him? That's my dog. <laughs> he, growing up, that Pretty Ricky, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Shorty, he he had it going. So I think one of those songs, one of his songs. One of his songs. Yeah, okay. Asian number, the number, all that little stuff. <laughs> okay, and last one. What's your least favorite sign? Least favorite sign? Mm -hmm. uh, Are you into signs? Yeah, bit? I am. I am. Yeah, I know you're a Virgo. Yeah, I love I'm Scorpios and shit too. Like all that, but the signs that I don't like though. Yeah, what's your least favorite? I said. I don't know. I want to say like. Okay, because you know it'd be like girl signs and boy signs. So what's your least favorite girl sign? Like if a girl, least favorite sign is. I think my least favorite sign is like a it Aries. I was finna say that. Yo, that's crazy. I was finna say I think it's an Aries. And then for boys, my least favorite sign is a Virgo. You know what? I can't say Virgos for guys. <laughs> I would say like for guys, it'll probably be like Cancer. They sensitive. A cancer. They sensitive. Or a Gemini. Some shit Gemini like that. Two yep. Yeah, all one that, of those. All, that stuff. all right. So how long have you been doing music? Cause I didn't seen songs from like seven years ago. Mm hmm How long have you been doing music? So honestly, I feel like I was playing with music early on okay. like i wasn't taking it serious at all okay. i just was doing it because we had the money to do it like okay. we was outside for real so it's like i'm like you know what i'm gonna be honest with you my cousin had what made me start doing music my older cousin she was getting nervous and scared because we was just outside doing a lot making money and shit. she like you gonna get in some trouble or somebody gonna get to looking into something like if you don't figure out a way to make this look like it's supposed to look. So she was like, I don't know if you need to start doing music. <laughs> if you need to do that, I'm like, you know, I'm going to start just doing music. Okay. So I faked. Started doing stay, music. Yeah, didn't know shit from rapping, never. Like, okay. I just was like, I just love music, when you though. when first started. It's when I first started. Like, my first 
A couple of songs. That's probably like seven years ago for real. Okay, okay. And then um, I think like I slowed down a little bit because I was going in and out of jail. And then I got out. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to really try to pursue this. Then the blog stuff came with Shorty because I was taking good pictures. Like everybody always seen my Instagram. Like I always had followers on my Instagram. That's like my second, third Instagram. Yeah. But yeah, so like my first Instagram. I see you've been putting that shit on for a minute. Like, that's like that's what I'm saying. If people really know, <laughs> yeah. they'd be like, dude, been outside doing this already. You know what I'm saying? It's just really now I'm just starting to understand who I am as a person, the craft of my characteristics. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I think that um I wanna say like 18, 19 is when I started to really try to like get for real with it, for real. Okay. Start locking in. I went back to Chicago okay. and start really like perfecting my craft. Okay. And then I came back to Atlanta. I'm like, you know what? Chicago just ain't it because it's too close to the people that's from that environment. A lot of it was a lot of distractions with mm-hmm. family and friends. And just, I hear that from a lot of Chicago artists. They say it's distracting. Man, it's so crazy because like I wish Chicago could be like. Y'all got Atlanta. great talent out there though. Amazing talent. Long. Amazing talent. It's just it's a cloud so so heavy about that joint. You can't even really prosper if, if I, I feel like if Chicago, the whole Chicago, get picked up and dropped in Atlanta or dropped in like one of these states that's flourishing like New York and then go back to Chicago, they just need to see it. I feel like we locked in like a box. Yeah, you if they can just more, see it real quick more. and go back, yeah. everybody understand like, oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's really for real like Atlanta because they politic for real. If the whole Chicago can go to Atlanta for like a month. You think that would be good? I don't know. I'm telling you, they just, they gotta, just got to see it. So I have a question. So you feel like it was more money to be made in Atlanta or Chicago? It's more money made in Chicago too, though. For real? Yeah, it's a lot of money. Cause I know made. Atlanta, they running up over there, but I don't. They go know crazy. Chicago for having. This three. is is this waddle? It's because like one Chicago segregated. Like okay. everybody know that. Yeah. If you don't know, if you look, I just told my homie the other day. I'm like, yo, bro, it's so crazy. Like before 2018, before I moved back to Chicago, mm-hmm. I didn't even know that side of Chicago even existed. Oh, for real? Like, it? yeah. You live there. Bro, we was in a box. It's like I'm from New York, but we know about the Bronx. Nah, really nah, know. nah. Yeah, it wasn't that. We was people. like, we had like so like, it's the street called Roosevelt. Okay. We live on the <laughs> other side of Roosevelt, like going towards the trenches. Okay. 39, 47. Okay. 55th, all that shit. Like I'm okay. on 79th and 87th. You but see y'all what I'm saying? Never go up to like 23rd or nothing. That's okay. the cutoff. You go down <laughs> if you go downtown. If you go downtown, yeah. that's there for like, the taste. Little events, you want to go down there and try to go shopping. You go down there and beat motherfuckers up, take their iPhones and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like little hood shit. Yeah, we'll see. But I didn't live there until 18. Once I lived in Chicago, mm-hmm. on the other side of Roosevelt, I'm like, oh, my God. This is a pl- this place so beautiful. I ain't even know. Like, it's yachts. We getting on boats. Oh, yeah, it's piece of spots on the water. You can go take yeah, a jet ski. don't highlight that stuff either too. It, I swear I wish I could do it. Like, yeah. now I wish that now my brand getting bigger. I'm going to be able to because I feel like a lot of artists like Swerve, Dirk, Sosa, all them, like we all really know what Chicago potential is, Yeah. but it's like it's so hard to do it. Yeah, it's hard and to I think better. that I got a clean enough but a more aggressive enough approach where I might can touch the people because, yeah, niggas got ops, but like so I feel like I could touch that. So you would want to go back and help? I feel like everybody from Kanye coming all the way down to the youngest rappers want to go back to that city and do something different. Yeah, but it's difficult. That's why a lot of people don't do it. So you 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 willing to take on that challenge I, is what I'm I saying. I think it's because it's like certain guys been in the industry 10 plus years with a mm-hmm. certain demon on their shoulder where it's politics that can't well, allow them know, to go there. Because I think the chief, chief keep couldn't perform for like 12 years in Chicago. Correct. So. Also, the cops kind of be fucking with you. Correct. Team, right? But I just think, again, like, the shorty's fried out there regardless. Like, it's fried. Like, they, they fried. <laughs> okay. For real. I'm just being real. Okay. But I think if they seen somebody who just don't overly promote violence, like, okay. niggas know how I get it. Like, ain't nobody crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know who's stepping, who's not stepping. But I think it's just the direction. Okay. Like, I'm starting to see even my Chicago fan base from the ones I do have, they're a different type of crowd. They, like... They like that, but they more like, nah, they in that 18 to like 27, 28, but it's like, they know me. They like, nah, bro from that, he don't overly promote that, but he pushing like militant, he pushing like money, he pushing like get to it. 
Yeah. Instead of just drill, 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 drill. Right, right, right. All right, so let's get into it. So seven years. Okay, do you feel like your sound is heavily influenced from Chicago or Atlanta? That's what I was going to ask. Both now. Both now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. I One of my homies. It's like a mixture right now. That's what I'm saying. My homie hit me like, you got to get off the Chicago shit. And then one of my other partners like, make more club hitters. So I'm like in the middle of like, transitioning. Yeah, I got these two different sides of me now in music. Like I got this Rari side. The Rari side is like, I'm on that. Fuck everybody, I'm lit, I'm turned, this is what it is. And then I got the true side of me, where it's like, this is more poetic. I'm just telling you more about like what I've been through, my story of life. And then it's like, it could be a mixture of Chicago and Atlanta because I'm speaking on things that I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know, I think it's just both, for real. Okay. All right, so do you feel like you went through a little bit of a rebrand once you really got into your sound? Or you yeah. feel like your brand? Yeah. What happened was I took like a year off yeah, and I, I had you. bought me a studio. Yeah, a recording studio? A real recording studio. In Atlanta studio. or Chicago? In, in Atlanta. Nice. So I bought one, I built a penthouse, I got a penthouse, mm -hmm. I decked it out, reconstructed the whole thing, I made a whole yeah. room, a studio. Okay. So like I sat there, in my townhouse too, I had a townhouse too. Okay. I sat there and I just really perfected my sound. Like, I feel like I had it. I just didn't know, like, I had to catch my pocket. Then being around other rappers, you start to learn, like, oh, these type of pockets, this type of, this type of bounce, this type of bop. Right, right. Got that, but now I could put, like, a Chicago spin, like. Okay. Atlanta guys, I feel like they talk about, like, clubs, girls, clubs da, 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 da. Chicago talk about moving, drilling, woo, woo, woo. So I feel like yeah. now I got that pocket where I kind of got a bounce. Yeah. But I can talk about certain stuff too. Do you have a set producer? A set producer? Yeah, because like I feel like producers help you with your sound. They do. They do. So like, do Actually, you have one you like I got up? three producers. I was dealing with one named Steery. Mm -hmm. Steery is like my when I want to go into like the true bag, okay. deep. That's who I go to. Like Steery so got the some. True bag is more so pain. Correct. Storytelling, like Correct. You got it. Okay. And then like. Rari's the gangster shit. Yeah, like Rari's okay. the gangster shit. Rari. So who's your producer for that? Um, so it's two right now that I'm dealing with. Yeah. One of them is called Maze. I okay. just got on him. And the other one, I think his name is, um, cause he, they've been flooding me in my email. Like I go to my, <laughs> I go to my email. Oh, you don't be in the studio with the producers? Nah, they I just, you? I tell them like, yo, it's, it's, I got my last project. I start catching like, I say for my, um, on Instagram, mm -hmm. send me this type of beats, send me trap beats, send me melodic beats, send me pain beats. And then I go to my email. Yeah, like artists hate doing that. Why you do that? Are you an introvert? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to do music with people? I would love to, but it's like I'm too perfection. I'm a Virgo. Okay. You know how we is. We perfection is like yeah. I can, I like to create though. I like to get in the bag and create and enjoy, yeah. but I'm a little off. So I don't really be liking to just <laughs> I'm just being real. I know, but you got to have like couple, two, three people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that. that. Like even like even with me and um Lee Yesterday on our way here, you know, we drove here. Yeah. We exactly. literally recorded music in the truck, like whole songs. And he was engineering. And we picking beats and we just going. Yeah, we made a we hit. gotta be with a certain work ethic. Like we cannot be yeah. with people. Like, All that plan. Get... I'm not with none of that plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. that. All right. Okay, so what does the one end mean? That's what I was One nation. One nation. Yeah. Okay. That's what I live so for. That's the label or that's, that's the label. Business? So one nation music okay. group. It's like it's called One Nation Music Group label. So I started that in 2019, really okay. learning the business. Because like I said, once I started popping through the blogs and the, the social media shit with Old Girl and all the other shit, it was mm -hmm. just like a lot. And then I ended up signing to my uncle, mm -hmm. whatever the case is, not knowing anything about the business. Had my own money, had everything. Mm -hmm. Signed to him. Mm -hmm. okay. And then he was kind of coaching me through certain stuff. But he was still taking bread. But not even taking no money. He wasn't taking no money. Oh, okay. He was just... um. He wasn't coaching me right on how to portray my image of who I really was. Mm -hmm. He was ha like, I didn't know nothing about the end. I want no, I want no industry plan. Like I want no industry nigga. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, what do I do? They like all these cameras on me, all these people. I jump live. It's a thousand people. My live is. I'm on blogs. All these. I'm like, what do I do? He like, just be this, be this, be this. So I'm trying, but I'm like, I'm not it even being real to myself. It didn't yeah. fit me at all. So me and him end up, mm -hmm. you know how that be. They end up yeah. like, yo. so he like, yo, well, what you gonna do? You gotta release some music. I'm like, bro, I'm steady sending you music. I ain't seeing nothing from it. I don't know what's going on. I see the numbers. Yeah. So I'm like, I ain't dealing with this no more. He like, well, you stuck. My own uncle. I'm like, what? He like, yo, you can buy yourself out. 
I had to real life buy myself out the deal. And then found out the deal that he did go do with the distribution I was working with, he was in a negative over there too. So when I finally locked in with a, 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 a I fuck with Create, like shout out to Create. Create Music Group. Like Create Music Group, Wayne Hampton, that's my boy, like my mm -hmm. brother, love him to death, always gonna rock with him. I seen what I was in the red, I had money. So I'm like, you know what? How much am I in the negative over here with y'all? He told me the number, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. He like, yeah, woo woo, you know, business is business, we can't do nothing until this get taken care of. I came in my own pocket and paid it. When he seen that, he was like, yo, you the first rapper ever in life. Yeah, because like people do music to make money. So if you already Correct. have money, what makes you keep doing music? So it's, again, like the passion, like the therapy. I feel like I don't really speak to a lot of people. Okay. So like, like we introverted a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to be extroverted, but we really introverts <laughs> in real life. So I feel like I just tell just people what I'm going through. People, it's my way of doing it. And then I start okay. to fall in love with the process. Okay. So now it's like, if you don't know what Rory got really going on in his life, just mm -hmm. listen to his music. Okay. He'll tell you what's going on. Okay. Yeah. So are you done with like public relationships? Um, I don't know. Well, do you, like, people found out, but like, do you feel like it was public? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I feel like every girl I dealt with been turned up. Like <laughs> you said dead ass. Like, like every girl I've been in a real relationship with, besides like one or two, mm -hmm. been like Instagram girl, okay. this, this, and that. Like my last relationship, I ain't gonna speak on it, but it mm -hmm. was an Instagram girl. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that so shit was just a part like of the spotlight girl, you like the low key girl. I'm gonna be honest, now I don't like the spotlight girl. Okay. I like to fuck them. I don't like <laughs> What? Oh, my bad. No, you can say that. It's just, we, okay. I mean, I like to, you know, kick it with him, <laughs> hang with yeah. him. But I don't want to, um... Nothing um, serious? Nah, because they live in the same... That, that industry life is just too too. Does weird. it get competitive? Like, why you don't like it? Is it, it don't too get much attention? It don't get competitive. Because I, I be in my own world. Mm -hmm. I'm real, like... I don't want to say this, like... I'm bougie and nonchalant a little bit. Mm -hmm. It could be the baddest chick. If she not my vibe, she not my vibe. And they hate that. Mm -hmm. They be like... Why you don't like me? Why this? Why this? Why this? And I'm not this and that. You take them, you chilling yeah, with this low girl. Yeah, we can literally have fun by ourselves. Like, I be like, yo, girl. bro, I don't care if this girl don't look better than you. Well, she doesn't. She my vibe. Like, yeah. So I like more low key now, chill, reserved. Cause I'm outside. So let's talk about your latest releases. Um, Last Supper. What's tea with that? What happened? Um, I feel like you're throwing little shots. Nah. <laughs> or what? Like I just me. feel like the beats get to talking to me. Okay. Like, so like, can I start from Gave Your Last and kind of okay, go we, down? We, we go so Gave Your Last. Last Supper, just my faith. Okay. I know, because I just got on that just yeah, yeah. trim. Okay, but yeah, that's going to give but me last. I feel like. Because that one was deep, too. Gave Your Last. I was just in a more depressed state okay. um, due to the fact that I just lost my brother. Mm. I lost a lot of money. I was trying to rebrand myself. Right. I was spending a lot of money, putting a lot of trust behind my business. businesses. I was starting a wing restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was building this real estate portfolio for me and my family. Okay. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, I literally paused my career. I paused everything, like, BMs, everything went on froze so I can really just, like, see it through. Right. And I'm like, yo, I'm giving my last. Like, I'm tired of taking care of people. I'm tired of showing my... Mm -hmm. Like respect and dues to people who don't care. So I just like gave your last. Then what transition from that is like okay. this literally like okay, I see y'all taking advantage of me. Right. So this is y'all last say? supper, if that makes sense. Like this is y'all my last oh, time oh, like sense. giving y'all anything and playing with my plate. Like mm -hmm. I got the plate. I know that I got the food on the plate and y'all keep playing with my plate. Like so this right. is the last supper, like I ain't never been no bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never right. been none of that, like, stop playing with me. Mm -hmm. So that's when it went into Last Supper. Yeah, so I was going to say, the line you said and gave your last, you say your friend tried to backdoor you, but you knew he was just trying to survive. That's a fact. Where do you and that friend stand now? We don't stand. Oh, okay. We so don't stand. So he had his Last Supper. I feel like people come around me for... Um, different reasons, of Different, course. a lot of different reasons. But, like, they don't realize that we really smart is ever you know what i'm saying we super smart no, we don't say much so you and we know. and we know already <laughs> because you trying to be opportunist of a person who's an opportunist in a situation that we already understand mm -hmm. we're very like able to manipulate you know that's virgos like 
Be yeah. real. Don't do that. In business, I feel like I'm better than in my personal life. But yeah. I just feel like at the end of the day, I can see through certain things. Yeah. And I think that I'm good at playing chess. Yeah. So it's like when I see people come around me and try to like put me in a box or a position to do something, I'm like automatically like that's not gonna work. Okay, so I see what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do this and yeah. put you in this box, and that's the far as you're gonna go. And I think they hate that. I think they don't like that. They come around me, steal recipes, steal sauce, figure out templates, this and that. Because I live off templates. Like I, I, I literally sit in my crib daily and create templates for doing things that people don't do. Mm. And it be my vibe. Like I know for sure it's mine because I can tell because. I know you didn't think of that because you basically watched me do it yeah. and tried so to do try it the same way. Yeah, Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, that definitely happens a lot. So, um, but yeah, I feel like you've been with your circle is, is smaller and smaller when I watch the videos. Correct. It went from a lot of people to now like kind of you and like a couple, one, two people. You know what it is? I was watching, um, I was watching Meek a lot at one point, right? Okay. And I was watching um, Dave East. Mm -hmm. I was watching um, even Smirk, okay. even Dirt, yeah. Herb too. Okay, like yeah. all these my partners. Was, like yeah. besides like me, I don't really know them like that. We yeah. seen each other a few times, but I didn't seen them too. And it's like you, you want that look of all that power, but then it's like it comes a lot with that. It it comes a lot one, and then it's like. I would rather now have a solid two, three people around me sure. that I know that really rock with me and I really trust that I know like he's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And you still got to have your guards even with two, three people. But yeah. all those dudes in my videos was opportunists and there for situations like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Like, and it's like, you'll look up, you'll be feeding colonies. You'll be doing stuff that you like, I wouldn't have done. Yeah. But you're doing it. It's like, yo, now nah, when, you, when you can't hold your hand out, it's like, oh, now nah, you ain't rocking with me? Yeah. All right, cool. Now you talking about me? All right, cool. So they just slowly fall off. Once they feel like they can't eat off your plate no more, they just slowly fall off, for real. Yeah. I was going to say, in a lot of your music, you stress about being a real nigga. What does a real nigga look like to you? What a, what does a real nigga look like to me? Yeah. You looking at him. <laughs> exactly. I'm being funny. I'm being funny. <laughs> what, um, is, what qualities? What are the... Qualities of a real nigga? Yeah, like what is... Is someone who lives in his true purpose. Okay. Someone who knows who he really is. Ain't got to put on some type of front or demeanor or stick his chest out when he don't have to. A person who take care of responsibilities and put people in position mm -hmm. and not no, not no bitch ass nigga, like period. Like a, okay. a guy that ain't going to put his chin down, stand okay. up, be a man, and take full accountability for everything that you ever done. I feel like me, I take accountability for every. I be dead wrong and I tell you to your face, I am dead wrong. Okay. Taking accountability. Yeah, that's That's being a real nigga. I, I feel like a lot of people in the industry do not take accountability, and I feel like they fake. It's the game. Mm -hmm. And it, as much as I hate it, I understand it now. I was so against that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not finna do that to do this. I ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. But now, it's like, all right, I get it. Like Jay-Z says, politics is usual. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Do a lot of people feel like they have to be like a gangster to be a real nigga? Do you agree or disagree? I do not agree. Like you, you do not have to be no gangster. You just gotta have principle. You gotta have moral. You gotta be able to stand and be an independent. Stand on your own. Right. Like being tough don't do nothing but get you shot or put you in jail. Everybody know that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I watch my partners all the time. I got little brothers that savages. All my little brothers savages for real. So I'll be like, you know, you ain't gotta do that. All you gotta do is stand on business. Like. Don't be no, don't be a pushover, mm -hmm. and just stay in your lane. That's yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely stay in your lane. So when do you feel like you got in tune with your style? Fashion wise? Yeah, because I said you've been putting it on. So um, like, I used to be a mannequin dresser at first. For real? My homies used to tell me all the time. P, all my dudes, like, we always had money. Like we was outside, so we used mm -hmm. to go to stores, all the fashion stores, Gucci, Burberry, all that. And I used to just be like, I see a mannequin, I'm like, I want that. Okay. I used to just buy that. Okay. Then I started like getting around Playing other. Together. Oh, I start once once you get a full closet. <laughs> okay. Then you can start seeing like, hold on, why didn't I put that with that and right. put that with right. that? Oh yeah, it's up now. So I started just adding little pieces, and then again like, I'm a dreamer too, and I'm a visionary. Mm -hmm. I started looking at a lot of Europe, like Italy, Italian designs and stuff, and just you seeing. You been to the UK? 
Nah. Okay, I just, I literally just got like, got free to really start traveling how I want to travel. You know what I'm saying? Got my papers sealed up. Shout out. Go bird now. (laughs) Shout out my my attorneys. Um, The reason I asked was because, you know, Lil Yachty went on a rant saying like, New York don't have no fashion sense, kind of. That's kind of what he said. just seen that. Then he said that Atlanta started a lot of fashion trends. What you think? I'm not from neither one of the places. <laughs> so I'm going to stay out of that. I'm from the rack. But like, that's why I asked, where did you get your sense of style from? So, like, because, you know, some stuff we see happen. I feel like York, the rack got its Atlanta. own style, though. Oh, People yeah. just ain't tapped into. Like, oh. I feel like Pelly Pellies and, you know, Buck 50s from Bros Out West and All White Ones and Tim's and all that. Like, that's kind of y'all, too. But it's like, oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> that's us, though. Like, I grew up rocking true religions and all that shit. I like, that's, we all had with that the trend. True religions, white ups, we the did Dickies, that. We Cole did Hart, that. Yeah. yeah. Carhartt, all that. We did that. But yeah. it's like, I guess me traveling, though, too. Okay. I could pick a little bit from the A, pick a little bit from Chicago, pick a little bit from LA, because mm-hmm. I lived in all three. So mm-hmm. I just was grabbing styles. I'm like, oh, I could deal with that. I could rock with that. And all my fashion. What's so funny is I was buying clothes. In LA, and you know the the demographic in LA clothes, yeah, and it's different. so I started seeing that oh these shorts go with this top, and right. these shoes go with these overalls, and this go with this. Okay. So I just started mixing and matching with my closet. Okay. That's really how I got my fashion. So you don't have a stylist? Would, nah, would you never get had a stylist? It. Or you feel like, um, you, you feel like you got that? Stylist? I don't think I need one, right. but if it came down to it where I just was too busy, too busy, yeah, I wouldn't mind. They okay. have to know me though for sure, because okay. I'm not they just putting to. on anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, do you feel like your fan base is mostly girls or guys? We just looked at that today. It's girls. Really? Yeah, it's girls. Okay. I just it's um, sixty one percent girls. Okay. And thirty nine percent guys. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you feel like you make music for girls? Nope. I don't. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. It's a funny demographic because I be like. It's so many guys that follow me in the industry, and so many mm-hmm. guys that follow me that know who I am for real, mm-hmm. but it's like, I don't know. I don't really even be caring for real. Like, I know why girls follow me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I think the guys just hate to see it in their face. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like, so do you feel like you want to make a girl track? More girl I am. Song? So that's what I'm working on now. I've been um putting, a, putting aside a couple of EPs and a okay. small like, couple of singles okay. for girls. I got me and my boy Lee. You know, he mm-hmm. managing me now with the system, him and Shay. Like, bro got a pocket of unlimited women vibes. Okay. And, like, last night, again, before we even made the other little hit song that we did in the club, the stripper song, okay. we did a song for females. And he like, yo, start getting into that market because, yeah. like, that sales. Yeah. And I just been studying, like, a bunch of artists that's older than me, like LLs and all the guys that came out that kind of, like, yeah. give me the same demographic, Nellies and stuff, mm-hmm. just trying to feel... Yeah. Out that look, because it's like, you know what, I probably can't do that. I want to actually transition yeah. once I get out of this demographic, my little pocket of just yeah. trying to break. Mm-hmm. Once I get past that and really go mainstream, A-list, I want to get into, like, being able to sell that for sure. Because it's going to be easy. Yeah, I feel like the girls is really the ones buying into the music, buying the concert tickets Facts. and things like that. Facts. Um, do you listen to female artists? Female artists? Mm-hmm. Mm, not, really. not all the time, but I do mm-hmm. got a couple of female artists that I rock with. Okay. Like, like who? I'm gonna be a band with you. Tink, to yeah. me, cause you're from Chicago, yeah. right? Like me and Tink, like, we still close, we super close. Mm-hmm. Like, she had a song, bro, before it came out, I think it was her, I think it was her hit single too. It was yeah. called Bottom Bitch. Mm-hmm. We was playing, one day we was on Expressway, I was in the car with her, we was driving downtown. Mm-hmm. And she like, man, right, I'm finna record this song. She started singing it, mm-hmm. acapella to the beat. Right. I told her, I said, shorty, I swear to God, this is your hit. She's like, well, I say, if I'm, I'm a music connoisseur too, like I got an ear for music, but I'm mm-hmm. like, it was touching me personally. Like I <laughs> felt her, how she felt about this. I'm like, yo, so hit. Yeah. And she like, and like, was yeah. you not like. She was just on tour with um, Janae Iko. I seen her perform out yeah. in New York. Yeah. yeah, I seen that too. Um, how are you feeling about performing and traveling and going on tour? I'm ready. If you had Super to build ready. your tour lineup, who would it be? You and three other artists. It would be me, Herb, for sure. Her? Okay. That's my boy. Okay. And, um. You said Herb, like G Herbo? G Herbo, yeah. Oh, I thought that's you my, said Herb, the singer. That's my boy. And I would probably pick, um, 
for another male or female? It could be anyone, male or female. Anybody. Probably like baby. Little baby? Yeah. You feel like he fell off? No. Nah. I don't I feel don't, like baby fell off. I don't know. Maybe because I'm in New York, I'm not hearing the new stuff. I, I just, like some of the stuff he just dropped, though. You know what it is? I he feel like break, I feel like baby remind me of me too, though. Because yeah. baby just a a real nigga. Like baby just do real nigga shit. Yeah. And then on top of that, like bro just be he's a business. He's around moguls and entrepreneur people yeah. who understand the business. And he yeah. got so much business. He's a hustler. Like that's yeah. just that's what it is. We just real hustlers. Yeah. I was gonna say I feel like a lot of fans put a lot of pressure on, especially A-list artists, because they always want music. Yeah. And when he wasn't giving music, it's like, oh, he fell off, you know? Yeah, nah, bro, probably got a whole stash of music, yes. but I feel like he just rapping what he going through. Right. That's the that's that's the chemistry, not letting the fans control you. Yeah. Like when you get to that level, where it's like, all right, look. Yeah, they pressing, they pressing, they pressing, but you gotta just be you, bro. Like mm -hmm. never get outside of your body to please and impress other people. That's mm -hmm. the, I feel like that's the pure piece of it. Now, like, I ain't getting on my body to impress nobody. You get it when you get it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop. I'm going to make sure it's right. I'm going to do my thing. You know, y'all listen. Y'all like it. Y'all like it. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do have an EP on the way, though. It dropped tonight at tonight. 12. <laughs> yeah. How are you celebrating? Make sure y'all go get that. Rari True, only 10 minutes. It come out tonight at 12 a.m. Okay. Go grab that. So it'll be out now by the time they see this. So It'll be out now. So yeah. make, go get that out now, right now. Only 10 minutes. And okay. then we're giving y'all a four for four like Wendy's. Yeah, on the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're going to close out with a game. I'm going to start the sentence and you just finish the sentence. I bet. Okay, so my favorite song I wrote is... Fashion Killer. Okay. I hate when... People lie. I work the best when I... By myself. Oh, gosh. Okay. Don't come to the studio without... Tequila. Okay. Cosmigos? Class 1111. Okay. Shout out my boy, Cat. Yeah, you owe me some money. <laughs> All that plan. Females should know better than to not... Get that top up. Get that top. I can't fuck with a girl if she... Over outside, of course. Two outside? Two outside. Okay. Partying every day. I do not like that. Every time I go on your Instagram, I'm seeing red and blue lights. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Sit down. I'm embarrassed that I know so little about. I'm embarrassed that what? I know so little about. Like, what do you wish you knew more of? Black history mm -hmm. and astrology. Yeah. I don't know about astrology, but definitely black history. <laughs> Um, why do people blink? Why do people play all the time? All that playing. <laughs> Don't trust blink because. Don't trust nobody. Because. Because you die alone. <laughs> okay, he's gonna real deep <laughs> with us. Okay, the secret to a happy life is to. The secret to a happy life? Is to do what, yeah? Be true to yourself. I feel like that's real. You don't think so? Be true to yourself. Yeah. And get some more money. Yeah. It's like, what's the secret to happy life though? Yeah, I guess to be true to yourself. Yeah, you gotta be real. Yeah. Be real to yourself. Yeah. Okay, and the last one. In five years, I see myself changing the game. In five years. One thousand percent. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. So, any last words you like to say to the people? Shout out everybody who listening to the project. Only 10 minutes. We got a lot of more music on the way. Shout out my new team. Shout out my homies, my family. Shout out my kids. We going up. Big dog, Robert True. Checking out. Also, shout out Talk of the Town. Let's, <laughs> let's not forget that.